serving as a part of our spiritual rhythm here at Platwoods Church. And going is when our full life and our faith begin to matter to others. Coming up in 2024, there are three opportunities for you to go and serve, whether it be in Guatemala, Pine Ridge Indian Reservation, or the El Paso Juarez border. On October 15th, we're hosting a Lunch and Learn where you can discern whether or not now is the time for you to take a next step in your faith and participate in a serve trip. Guatemala is one of the most beautiful countries you will ever visit. I've been there numerous times and I never get tired of the ambiance there and the people. But the beauty belies the poverty that exists there. So Platwoods Church partners with an organization called ODIM, which stands for Organization for the Development of the Indigenous Maya. They have two medical facilities, they have a, a dental clinic, and they have five community outreach programs where they educate the Mayans on how to improve their lives. So what we do is work side by side with ODIM personnel. They are wonderful hosts to us. They serve the Lord and they are role models for us. So we go down there to try to supplement what they're doing and try to help them. And it's a great way to combine service and learning and adventure. The purpose of our El Paso Juarez border trip is really to provide us that opportunity to explore our curiosity and ask questions to lawyers and teachers and students, and they can walk us through what that is like living on the border plex. And it allows you to really come back with more empathy, with more compassion. There will be moments and, and projects of service, but it's really a time for us to ask questions and be curious about what is happening at the border and how we can participate in God's work in meaningful ways. I was asked to lead a Native American mission to South Dakota, and I didn't know what I was getting into, but I said, sure. We like to do stuff together. So I'm like, okay, let's do this together. And that was in 2011. I keep going to support the great friends that we made up there. They're there every day, you know, trying to make life better. Probably the highlight was working with the kids, playing games, everything from soccer to blowing bubbles. We did crafts with them. They did a lot of beading and jewelry. I'd never been on an Indian reservation before, and there was just a lot of brokenness. There was a lot of homelessness, a lot of addiction. But in the midst of it, there was a lot of beauty. I get the feeling that when we get up there, they're just glad to see us, glad to see somebody cares and feel their pain or share their pain, share their struggles, share their burdens. And I think that's pretty important. You have nothing to lose. You're, it's gonna be a good experience. You're gonna grow and you're gonna learn no matter where you go or what you do on a mission trip. I went beyond my comfort zone. And I think we don't grow unless we do that because I, I felt like I got so much more than I gave. We hope you'll sign up to join us at our Lunch and Learn on October 15th, where you can learn more about these awesome opportunities and see how God is working beyond our community.